All right, so Ra was boring. It literally put me to sleep. I'll elaborate on that later in the video, but literally, I'm not like exaggerating it. It seriously put me to sleep. I didn't get a great rest last night, so I was pretty tired going into this show. But yeah, I fell asleep during the show for a little bit. But again, I'll explain on that later. We get Hogan coming out to start the show, cuts a promo. You know, just talking about the network more. Ooh, you know, go go order the network. Watch WrestleMania three. Or, you know, me versus Andre. It's like shut up about the fucking network. Is that all they brought him back to do? Is just promote the network? You know, so there's this 30, 30 man battle royal. It's like the Andre the Giant battle royal or whatever. Pretty stupid, I think. It's like why name it after Andre the Giant? It's like. Well, yeah, I want a big trophy with Andre the Giant on it. And it's like, it's not really an award or anything that's going to give you any credibility credibility in the company. I saw somebody tweet out, you know, an award that w would give you immunity from... I forgot what it specifically was, but it was at Marks on Commentary Twitter. But, like, you know, something that you could actually use, like a maybe a, um, a chance at a, at a U.S. title or... You know, some sort of title, you know, and instead you just get a big trophy. It's like, what the fuck are you going to do with with that? At least make it something you could actually, you know, use in the future or benefit from in the future. A fucking trophy isn't going to do any, any good. Um, then, of course, Cena comes out, you know. And then, of course, they have Hogan doing the fucking salute. Fucking retarded. Then they just keep talking about Mania 3, WrestleMania 3. It's like, shut the fuck up. I want to talk about now, you, you know, maybe name drop it for like 30 seconds, talk about it for 30 seconds, that's fine. But don't dedicate a whole fucking segment to WrestleMania 3. It's about WrestleMania fucking 30 people. So then Cena just tries to feed off Hogan and his popularity, which does not work. You can clearly hear the booze coming from the crowd. It's not like it's 50-50. They try to say, oh, it's 50-50. It's not 50-50. It's more like 75-25, at least of this crowd. They're booing the hell out of Cena, and I was enjoying it. So then, um, the Cena is like, "Oh, I don't want to be part of this match." When obviously he has a match against Wyatt, so that was pretty stupid. Then, then Bray Wyatt comes out, cuts a decent promo on Cena. Then you know, it's it's a serious environment. Bray Wyatt just cut this serious promo. Then Cena just starts cutting a bunch of PG jokes, and it's like, can he be serious for just one minute? We're trying to cut a fucking serious promo, and then Cena just starts rambling on about fucking jokes. Then, you know, the Wyatts are about to enter the ring. You know, there's Cena and Hogan standing there, the Wyatts get out on the ring apron, and they just cut the commercial, you know? I thought they were going to do some brawl or something, at least with Cena, probably not Hogan, because he's out of shape and shit. But they just cut the commercial. You know, the Wyatts are about to storm the ring. And they just cut the commercial. So I didn't, I did not enjoy this begin, beginning segment here. The only good part was a little bit of a decent one or two minute promo from Bray Wyatt. Then we get Cena defeating Eric Rowan. It was a boring match. Cena wins on a roll up. It's like roll ups are supposed to be used for smaller guys like Brian, not fucking John's fucking Cena steroided up and shit. Why is Cena using a fucking roll-up to beat Eric Rowan? I know Rowan's maybe like a little bit taller than Cena, but Cena's a big guy. He's not supposed to be using fucking roll-ups. Then you got, you got Hogan in his corner, you know, cheering him on. You know, I think he patted him on the back, and then he do the poses, you know, after the match, and Cena's doing the, you know, the fucking um, flexing the arms and shit. Just very cheesy. You could tell it was just... You know, it's like they try to do this with all the legends, associate them with John Cena, to try to get John Cena over, but it never fucking works. They just keep booing him, and it's stupid. Why is, you know, just let Hogan do his shit. Don't get Cena involved in it, please. This is just fucking stupid. The first person Hogan has an altercation with or a promo with is, of course, John Cena. Just fucking stupid. Fucking retarded. So that pissed me off. Then Stephanie and Triple H come out. The corporation, or is it the JC, the authority? I still like to call them the corporation, but then they uh, they call Triple H, Batista. You know, Stephanie calls Triple H, Batista, and Orton A plus players, and it's like really, <laughs> you know, they're just trying to they're just trying to piss us off now. It's like they're obviously, you know, F's at best, F pluses at best. <laughs> so then. Uh, 
she says that each Triple H is above Brian, literally, figuratively, and um, uh, I forget. She said uh, some some shit like that, but it's just stupid. You know, they're, they're trying to point out the fact that Triple H is taller than Brian. It's like, come on, you really kind of stoop to those levels. Yeah, big deal. Triple H is four inches taller than Brian. Nobody gives a shit. You know, it was a, it was like a good little uh, line right there, but it was also stupid too. Then we get the Usos defeating Ryback, so not a good match. Pretty boring, and it was also pretty obvious who was going to win here. Then we get a backstage segment with Shield and Kane. You know, Kane's telling them, oh, you, you might not be profitable anymore, you might not be useful. You know, and he's just lecturing him. It's like, why does Kane give a fuck if the Shield break up or not? It's like, oh, I'm going to give you a chance to resolve your issues tonight. And he puts the match with the Rhodes Bros versus uh, Reigns and uh, Rollins. So, whatever, you know, it's pretty retarded, I thought. It didn't make that much sense. Big E defeated Jack Swagger in a shitty match. Again, another big guy winning on a roll-up. Big guys are not supposed to win in a roll-up. Big E just rolls up fucking Swagger. And Swagger was looking for Cesaro to interfere, and he didn't. So then Swagger is pissed off at Cesaro. They get in, in a little altercation. They shake hands, and then Cesaro is like holding on, and you know they finally resolve their issues, and you know they're gonna break up obviously pretty soon. So hopefully it doesn't drag on too much longer. I, I'm sort of hoping they break up next week or at least soon. I don't want this to drag out like the like they're doing with the Shield. Then we get Heyman and Taker doing a little promo here. like the promo. Um, and I also like how Undertaker got some mic time too. This is the failure they did last year. They didn't let Taker talk at all, I don't think, it, before his match at WrestleMania. So hopefully they let him talk a little bit more. I like Taker's line where he says, like, the biggest, um, the most thing you could fear is, I think he said, I said something about fear or something, but it was good. I don't remember it word for word. I didn't write it down, but yeah, it, it was a good promo from Heyman, and, and Taker got to talk for like 45 seconds, and he said something about fear and shit, and it was, I remember it was pretty good. Shield defeated the Rhodes brothers. Sorry guys, I fell asleep during this match, you know. I, you know, this is the previous parts of Raw were sort of boring for me, you know, not entertaining. And while promos are, you know, good, you know, some promos might be good, it's not like it's fast paced, you know, it's it's just talking, so it doesn't really get you on the edge of your seats. So, uh, you know, it's, I'm not saying this match was that shitty or it wasn't like, so shitty, you know, this it just was just like the culmination of things and this was just the fucking breaking point for me. So I just fucking fell asleep and I wake up and I find the shield one. Um, it, so obviously it wasn't that great. It's a pretty boring match, but like I said, you know, a lot of the things before that, before this match, you know, made me sleepy and this just was a breaking point for me. So then, uh, you know, I can't really you know, talk about it that much since I fell asleep during the ending. I was awake for, I think, about half the match. I was awake for the beginning and then the ending, I fell asleep. Then we get AJ defeating Tamina, and, you know, I must have fell asleep again. And I woke up, and I, for like the last 30 seconds, and I find Nikki Bella beating AJ Lee. So hopefully this isn't the match, the WrestleMania match. I hope to fucking God we don't get AJ Lee versus Nikki Bella at WrestleMania. So again, I can't give a proper, you know, rating for that match. I'm not, I'm not gonna go back and watch that shit again either. Sheamus defeats Christian. It wasn't horrible but it wasn't good. It just dragged on too long and it wasn't hardcore enough. I, I will give credit where credit's due where that the cool ending with the bro kick through the drum that was a pretty cool ending but it just wasn't that hardcore for me. It needed to be a little bit more hardcore and it just dragged on. It could have been a like a shorter match. Half the match it was it, it was just a lot of unnecessary rest, you know, spots. It's supposed to be a street fight or whatever, and it wasn't, you know, it didn't feel like a hardcore street fight at all. felt like half a street fight almost. It was not It was not hardcore enough. <clears throat> so then, you know, I, I was very sleepy, so I just wrote down. I, I think after this was a Wyatt promo, 
I'm not entirely sure where this took place. It was somewhere around here where they come on the Tron and they accept Cena's match. He's like, oh, we're going to fight Cena. So Bray Wyatt versus Cena is officially on at Mania. And then fucking Alexander Rusev comes out again. Stands on the fucking stage or with the, the steps or whatever like a fucking retard. Talks in Bulgarian. Just a fucking waste of time. Can we get a legitimate debut? I, I tweeted out this is they're doing the same fucking they did the same fucking thing with Fandango. They didn't make him wrestle, they just put him out there like, oh you can't pronounce my name right. I'm not gonna wrestle. It's very similar, you know, they're just taking Rusev, putting him on a stage, doing some Bulgarian bullshit language that I, I don't fucking know and nobody knows. It's just pointless. It's a fucking waste of time. Um Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot, um, I forgot the, uh, the Brian part, you know, the, uh, sorry guys, I think I might have, you know, I'm so fucking sleepy through this, I forgot to fucking write that down, but yeah, Brian, you know, comes out, yeah, I'm going out of order here, but yeah, you know, they just made me so fucking sleepy, um, so Brian comes out, he hijacks the show, they call it Occupied Raw, you know, it's sort of stupid because it's not organic, it's not from the crowd, it's just a, you know, it's obvious WWE made it up, but I still enjoyed this segment. I had some fun here. You know, the fans come in, you know, I thought it was sort of stupid how they were all wearing that retarded Daniel Bryan t-shirt. But it was a good segment, you know, it was fun. You know, it was, it was pretty long, but still, that didn't take away from it at all. And we get the match at WrestleMania. I truly think that Bryan is going to win the belt at Mania. I cannot see Orton retaining. I cannot see Batista getting it. I truly think that that um, Brian's gonna win both of his matches at Mania, which I'm very fucking happy about. That's about the only good thing I could take from the show, in the Hamer promo and Taker promo. You know, this was a good segment here. I enjoyed it. So uh, there, there you go. Sorry guys, if I went out of war there, but I was just so fucking tired. And then we get the main event, which is uh. Brian and Big Show, yeah, what the fuck is the Big Show doing in the main event? You know, one of his main events, you know, which was a fucking disaster, Survivor Series against Orton. What a fucking disaster that was. And, they, and then they just put him back right back in the fucking main event again. He shouldn't be allowed. That should be a fucking rule in WWE. You cannot fucking be in the main event again, Big Show. Because you fucking suck. Because you fucking suck. Uh, so Brian and Big Show defeat Orton and Batista. So you're pretty much three shitty wrestlers and one really good wrestler, one great wrestler. And this made for a boring match. Um, Brian had some good moves, of course, with the suicide dive, but even Brian couldn't save this match. I mean, the three shitty wrestlers, so three shitty wrestlers in here, so of course it would be pretty shitty. And so at least Brian won and got the pin. I think he got the pin right with the running knee. So, um, yeah, it's, it was a pretty boring match, but, oh, one more thing I want to address. They, they were telling us how to download the WWE Network, and I swear, they think we're dumbasses. They seriously, I mean, it's not that hard. If, if you fucking have a brain, you can just go on the website, WWE.com. Not that hard. If you don't know the website, just type in on Google. I'm sure everybody knows how to use Google. WWE, click WWE.com. So, you know, they, it pops up right when you come to the website. Uh, WWE Network. Click on it. Put in your info. Buy it. It's not that fucking difficult. You got, uh, I'm saying, you got to be a fucking dumbass to fucking not know how to fucking order this shit. They don't need to fucking tell us. They did the same thing with the, with the app. Go download the app. This is how you do it. It's like every, everybody knows how to download a fucking app. You know, it's it's not it's not fucking nineteen eighty. It's fucking two thousand fourteen. We know how to fucking use phones. You know, technology is pretty good nowadays. I think everybody who has a phone knows how to download the apps, since the apps are what make the phone. <laughs> you know, pretty much nowadays, phones aren't used for fucking calling. You know, phones are mainly used for apps now. So, but yeah, that's one of the things I wanted to rant on there. So Rob was pretty shitty. I, I you know, it put me to sleep. Literally, I'm not gonna. I'm not saying that. If you know, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I'm not lying. I don't. I don't fucking lie. So yeah, but it was very boring. Two good parts with the Brian and Triple H promo and Stephanie promo and the fans and the 
Heyman and Taker promo was also good. But overall, the show was pretty boring. So there you go, people.